All right, I got an interesting one for you guys. I am taking apart this 2001 59 Cummins 24 valve. This one's a high output. And uh, I was pretty hopeful when I started taking it apart. <clears throat> it's a Mexico block, so it's not a 53, which have the cracking issues. It uh, still has like factory paint markings on the cylinder head still has black paint um, a little little gummed up in here but really not bad at all took the cylinder head off and I found one mismatched piston which as far as the part number on it is not matching the rest so to me that's not a good sign and then I flip it over, take the pan off, and like clearly this one, just from the yellowing, is an original. That one, that one, that one, they're very, I mean, it almost looks like this engine wasn't ran at all from a rebuild. So... When you can even see paint, there's paint in the bottom of that piston. So, I guess my next step is I'm going to start popping these pistons out. See how much machine work got done, if any. And God, I'm hopeful there's some machine work in here, because... Um, yeah, it's, uh, looking kind of homebrewed rebuild at the moment. Um, and the pistons, hopefully I can turn my, okay, so sorry for the crudeness. The pistons just don't seem like they fit right in the bore. That's going to be really hard to show. It almost looks like there's too much space around the edge of the piston. And you can rock the piston back and forth slightly with your hand. And I don't know if you can pick that up on video. But, I mean, I, they're the only way you'd get this kind of coloration on the end of the crank like that, on the throw. I mean... It, you know, it's blue, it turns to orange, and then red. This this tells me spun, spun bearings would get that kind of heat. I mean, maybe that's how these Cummins run, but man, I've only time I've come across that kind of coloring is if there was a lack of lubrication, and they got them journals nice and hot, so... I'm going to get this pickup tube off. I'm going to start taking the pistons out. And I'm going to see how have a better picture of what's going on in a minute. <laughs> Alrighty, I got those pistons knocked out. Man, I tell you, I got more questions than I do answers right now. All these rod journals look absolutely perfect. Like, perfect, perfect. And they're all standard bearings, standard size. So the crank hasn't been turned. I am pretty sure it's a factory crank because it's uh, Brazil. Um. I mean, I know the guy told me it was a low mile donor truck that this came out of, but I just, I can't imagine it's that perfect. Um, so you come over here to the pistons, and this was one of the reasons why I ended up taking it apart was, let's see if I can get a good picture. So it's hard to tell. It says 6051. K25 
And this one is a 6050K12. So when I was looking at this from the top, I'm thinking, oh man, I got pistons with different numbers. Are they different size? Did somebody do a, a rebuild on it and just toss in different uh, different size piston? Because one had damage and they just, I don't know, honed one, bored one. I don't really know what. Um, and then once I flipped it over and took the pan off, I've got a bunch of nice, brand new looking pistons. And then I've got this gold color one got a different this one's an ME and those were MG's there's only one mismatched connecting rod and there's only one mismatched piston and when I go to look up the part number it shows a oh, focus it shows that these like that little goofy logo. These are factory Cummins pistons. But, I mean, there is not a single score or scratch. I mean, just a super crazy light. So, I, I really don't know what's going on with this engine. I don't know if it was just a really well cared for super low mileage truck and these are all genuine OE 2001 parts I can't imagine having different colored rods they also have this one has a different number from the rest of them I, I, I just uh, I don't know enough about these Cummins to know what's going on I mean obviously these aren't brand brand new pistons there's a lot of carbon on them I mean they're in great shape they'll clean up but um, so I guess I'll take the crank out and I will see if those are standard bearings and then uh, yeah I really won't know much else until I get uh, I ordered a bore gauge so I can see the condition of the cylinders, if they're, you know, fatter on top, things of that nature. If I can run standard pistons or not. But uh, let me get this crank out and I'll be right back. Alright, got the crank out. Still more questions than answers. got like the whole crank has like a blue tinge to it I don't know if that's heat treat or what that number doesn't cross to anything there's a Brazil and a RBD I don't know those don't don't give much help either all the mains were standard I mean there's still a little bit of cross hatching in the bore I, I don't know. I mean, somebody's... Oh, that's a gasket as well. I don't know. I mean, there's RTV on it. There was RTV in the pickup tube. Somebody's been in here, but uh, I'm just trying to gauge, you know, quality of the components, if I can reuse them, or... Obviously, I gotta wait till I get that uh, bore gauge, so I know if... Uh, I can just get away with honing it, re-ringing it, and throwing it back in. I'll probably re-bearing it, even though all these bearings look pretty dang perfect. Just for a little more peace of mind, cheap insurance. Um, if the if the bores uh, mic out all right, I'll probably just get new new standard rings, new standard bearings, and put it back together. Cam bearings look decent too. Most of that will wipe up. So yeah, if you got any uh, suggestions or you ever seen a crank like that, I mean, it's 
it just I'm not super familiar with these Cummins I've done a couple 12 valves and none of the internals look like that so I don't know <laughs> thanks for watching see you on the next one